so now this is working we know that uh, we have a list of um, we actually have a list of uh, users inside of our inside of our table okay so inside ext.js we're now going to look at this set interval and we're going to look at getting the list of users so this time we're going to perform something slightly different and we're going to use three different variables in post uh, by sorry parameters in post remember this was the first parameter this was the second but this time we're going to uh, provide an additional callback function and this is because users.php is going to relay to us a list of users so let's go ahead and uh, do that now right so uh, inside of here we want to again send a post request to uh, users.php so that's php forward slash users.php the variables that we're sending we're only going to send one because obviously we don't need to supply a username here we just need to supply an action which is list and then the third function is a callback function uh, with a with a parameter data or a, a returned value data and data is going to uh, hold anything that's returned or echoed out by users.php and uh, essentially what we're going to do now is because we've provided the action list we inside users.php we can just echo out the list of users uh, and this will be placed into this data variable so where does the data variable go well obviously we want to display the list of users inside of users online uh, div so we want to uh, go ahead and select users underscore online and we want to place some HTML in there which is data so we use the HTML function here uh, and we place the data variable inside of users online so now that we've outlined what this is actually doing every half a second we want to go ahead and actually uh, allow for this list to do something so uh, down here what we want to do is uh, append onto this if statement and we want an else if here and we want to say else if action is equal to list and if action is equal to list we call um, user list function so the uh, obviously when the list action is found we want to call user list function now we have one problem here we're not actually sending the username with this uh, so we need to modify this line here uh, to allow only for the uh, action to be supplied on its own so we say if is set the username and the action together or using the or operator um, is set and dollar underscore post action so the if the action set then we can continue with this code we have action here uh, obviously we don't need the username in this case so perhaps my codes a tiny bit illogical in the sense that we uh, you know assign this variable uh, but you can go ahead and modify that in your own time uh, to make it more efficient so action here uh, if it equals list we want to call user list function so the users list function what do we want to do well we're going to be returning the results in an array uh, and then echoing out this array down here uh, so I want to create an array called users or user list equals array and I want to go ahead and create a query and store that in users or users query so this is MySQL query uh, an extremely simple query select user underscore name from users so what this will do is it will select all fields that are, that are user name from the table users uh, remember we have our field name here and our table here so now we can go ahead and actually run a run a loop to loop through every name in this list so while users row is equal to mysql fetch a sock which fetches an associative array from users query uh, we can go ahead and actually uh, output something here so I'm going to uh, or not output something but we want to store each value uh, in a in an, uh, in a um, element of users list array so users list and then remember our square brackets because we're just adding to this array uh, users list is equal to users row 
user underscore name. So let me just go ahead and explain this just again for anyone that didn't understand. We've queried the database, we've looped through the results, and we've applied each, or we're appending elements onto this users list, um, uh, or user list rather, user list array up here that we defined earlier. And that is taken from the users row, which remember is here, and uh, that's username, which is the field name. So now what we can just do is return user list. So now user list function returns an array. So user list is now an array. So inside of here, what we can do is we can use a for each loop, uh, and we can say for each uh, users list. I think we called it users list, didn't we? User list for each user list as user. Now, what's going to happen is because we placed a username inside each element of this users list array, user is now a single um, name. So if we had three three names in the list or in the t database table, this would uh, this would loop three times, as would this loop three times as well. So what we can now do is echo. Um, let's say user. And then we can append a break onto that. So now what this will do is uh, the file users.php will essentially pick up on this action. It will go ahead and loop for every users list as user. Remember, we returned each uh, name as an array. Uh, and then it will just echo out each element of that array. So fairly simple. Let's go back to our page. Uh, we'll have to go ahead and delete this and then refresh. So I'm going to type in Alex, press enter, and nothing has happened. So let's take a look at why that might be. Oh, okay, so we might have to go ahead and duplicate this tab over and type in Alex. And browse. Oh, and nothing's happened. Okay, so let's take a look at why this might be. Uh, let's go over to ext.js. Uh, action list so if action equals list that looks okay users.php data users online well it actually appeared that we didn't have any results go into the database so uh, let's just take a look at um, our Right. Okay. So let's take a take a look at this. So user username action joined. Uh, maybe we could just copy this and let's take a look. So Alex. Okay. And that should have passed that name to the vet, uh, to the database, which it hasn't done. So there might be an error in my uh, PHP file. Uh, let me just take a look and see if I've written anything wrong. So we've got the query here, uh, users, users query. Ah, there we are. Uh, I didn't put a semicolon on the end of that line. 